Hey, Platinum Fox here, you can call me Plat. And you're probably wondering, where's Minecraft? What am I staring at? Well, this is my desktop. And if you've read the title of this video, you probably have a little bit of a clue of what it's about. Um, in the future, I would like to start doing mod videos. Of, uh, I've been using them for years, and I would like to share them. I think they're fun, and I, it's really what I would like to do, um, along with Mineplex and other things. So, this is going to be a tutorial on how to get multiple versions of Forge, uh, add more RAM to Minecraft, correctly add up to find a Forge. Basically, it's a comprehensive, everything you need to know about Forge. It's going to be as simple as I can put it. It is a very simple process, it's just a little lengthy. I'm going to try to make this video not too long, but let's just hope it's not too long. Um, but as I said, it's simple, it's just a lengthy process. So, first thing you want to do... So you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net. This will be in the description. And what you want to do is you want to download the installer for Minecraft Forge. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to download everything we need and put it on my desktop so we can easily get to it. So files.minecraftforge.net. And uh, the two mods I will be using for examples today uh, will be Thomcraft and Tinker's Construct. Um, I'll explain why I'm using these in just a minute, but first let's download Forge. Um, so the versions we're going to need today are 1.10, so you would simply hover over it and select the version for 1.10 that you need. We need 1.10.2. You would then find the latest and then click the installer. You don't want to click anything else, you just want to wait a few seconds in this top corner and it will say skip. And that is what you want to click, that is the only thing you want to click. And I have Google Chrome, so it will automatically put it down here and I want to click keep. So we're done with this. We want to do the same thing now because we're having another Minecraft Forge version to go along with this, but we are going to do for 1.8.9. So same thing, hover, select it, and then you want to find the latest and click the installer. And again, this um, page will appear. You don't want to click anything except for that skip button up here in the top right corner. So we'll click it and then we'll click keep and we can move on. So now we have the Forge installers, so we can X out of this. Now the reason I chose both of these mods is for two reasons. A, there are two different versions, 1.8.9 for Thomcraft and 1.10.2 for Tinker's Construct. Now I chose both of these because Thomcraft is one mod, while Tinker's Construct has a dependency mod called Mantle that it needs in order for you to play Tinker's Construct. So you need to download both of these to play Tinker's Construct. So let's just start downloading. I would also like to note that Curse owns Minecraft Forum, and Minecraft Forum is probably where you would get most mods. There, there's a couple other trusted websites um, out there, but definitely Minecraft Forum is the biggest one you'd probably want to use. So we're going to click download, and I'm going to click download for Mantle and as well as Thomcraft. So, just a couple seconds and it's all going to appear down here. So we have Tinker's Construct, we have Mantle, and now we have Thomcraft. So we can now exit out of these, at, but as you can see here first, it still curse and it just took us and it downloaded it right for us. Nice and easy. So now we have all of the mods we need, and we have Forge. Now, a lot of people use Optifine, so I'm going to show you how to put that in Minecraft Forge as well. So, we'll, we'll click Download for 1.10, and we want to wait the 5 seconds for this add fly, add fly page. You definitely don't want to click anything here as well, just skip. So then you want to click Download Optifine. The other way you can do Optifine, which I will show you for the 1.8 download we have to get, is you can click Mirror, and Mirror just skips the whole Adli Ad Fly page and takes you right to the download. So we can then keep that. Alright, we have everything we need, so I'm going to show all, so we can easily drag this to our desktop. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, 1.8.9, Optifine. Put Thomcraft right there, Mantle, Tinker's Construct, 
and the two forge installers. Now after this is done, I call it the folder method. You can probably call it whatever method you want. Um, but I use the folder method because it is pretty simple. Um, it, it just makes things organized and it's less of a hassle if you ever had to delete anything. I never have uh, had a problem, so I never had to delete anything because of a problem. Um, but if you did have a problem, or you just wanted to get rid of Forge in general, you would only have to delete a folder or two. And the only the only thing I mean by two is for different Forge versions. Because most videos show you um, how to get Forge just one time, and it adds it right to your .minecraft folder, which if you wanted to get rid of it, you would have to go through. I'll show you what I mean. So we want to go to our Minecraft folder. If you're Windows 10, you could either click this search bar right here, or for uh, Windows 8 and Windows 7, you can hit the Windows key and R at the same time. And you want to click, I mean, type percent app data percent. You would type this in this bar too. So we want to go to our Minecraft folder. And what I meant by um, most videos showing you just how to get one version of Forge, if you follow most videos, they put Forge in your main Minecraft folder right here. And then you would have all these extra files that you would have to delete and you'd have to go through every single thing here. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. I had to do it because I wanted to go from Forge 1.6 one time to 1.7. It really was a pain in the butt. But I found this way out. And, uh, well, I kind of found it out on my own. I don't really know if there's anything else out there that shows you how to do this way. So, first thing you want to do is you want to make two new folders. You want to make as many folders as you are making Minecraft Forge versions. So we only need to make two because we have two Minecraft Forge versions, 1.10 and 1.8. So the first one was Thomcraft, and uh, this is for 1.8, and you need to name the folder as something, I would suggest simple and one-worded. So because it's Thomcraft, we will name it Thomcraft. Now the other one we're going to make, we're just going to name Tinkers, or Tinkers Construct. Um, I'll probably name it just Tinkers Construct. Alright, so now we have our two folders. <coughs> Note that they are both empty. So we can close out of this, and the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our Minecraft launcher. And you want to make a new profile uh, you can name it whatever you want um, name this one Thomcraft and then you want to just move right on down here to game directory now this is important you want to do backslash and then you want to type the name of the folder where you're going to store this Minecraft Forge version so I did backslash Thomcraft now Use version, we want to use vanilla 1.8.9. So I'll select that. And, uh, didn't mean to click on this. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to give it a little bit more RAM because sometimes Forge requires that more than regular Minecraft does. So, my uh, regular Minecraft has 2 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to up it to 4. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so four is plenty for a Minecraft Forge world. If you have four gigabytes of RAM on your computer, I would suggest, actually, I'll say don't go more than two, because if you go more than two, then most of your computer is focusing running Minecraft and not other processes it needs to run. So how do you check how much RAM you have? Well, simply you right click the Windows icon and you would click System. A nice little box is going to appear and uh, you want to look in the system area. So installed memory or RAM, I have 16 gigs, so I am definitely in the clear to use four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I would say probably no more than five. I mean, four is plenty. I could probably take it down to three, but We'll just keep it at four. So we're gonna click save profile. 
Now we're going to click new profile again. And we are going to name it Tinker's Construct. And we are also going to change this backslash area to Tinker's Construct because that is the name of the other folder we made. So now that that's done, we want to make sure it says vanilla 1.10.2. <clears throat> and we already have the four gigs so that's great so we want to save now what you want to do is you want to run both of these and by run I simply mean run just click play and when it comes up click quit so we'll wait for the first one shouldn't take too long there it is now let's get on to the second one which is Thumbcraft. I believe so that shouldn't take more than a second or two and when that's done you can make your way back to your minecraft folder so uh, what that did was here's Thomcraft. what it did was it essentially made a very clean and new minecraft folder inside of your minecraft folder so, um, this is basically vanilla Minecraft 1.8 right now. And if we click Tinker's Construct, this is vanilla Minecraft 1.10. These are the folders we are going to mod. We're not going to mod our main Minecraft folder with all these files in here. Um, it, it's just unorganized and it, and it gets to be a lot and it's sloppy in my opinion. So, I think having two folders easily where you can find stuff is great. As you can see, dragons and dwarven craft and plat craft and that uh, may or may not be a, uh, a glimpse into the future of what could be to come. Um, those are all different forge versions I have, so it, it really is nice and organized. We can close out of this now that we made sure that those files were installed. And the next thing you want to do is you want to get your both of your installers. So you want to click. You just want to double click them now see how they look like a coffee cup if they don't look like a coffee cup and they look like uh, a piece of paper with a corner folded over and maybe some lines that represent text that means your forge uh i'm sorry your java version is not up to date and you should go and update it to the latest version that you can get uh, i'll have a link to java's website in the description as well now you want to make sure install client is checked when this lovely box appears and then you want to click OK and it should take a second or less and then you click OK. Now you want to do the same thing to the other installer. You want to make sure install client is checked and you want to click OK. And OK. Now sometimes when you do these a a page like I just described will appear usually in the top left corner um, it'll just be a page with some lines that represent text and it'll say like forge installer 1.10 or 1.8 or whatever version and it'll have a folded down corner um, with these uh, you kind of just want to highlight them and uh, highlight them and then right click them and properties and you want to just click hidden and then click apply and OK um, cause every time you load that Minecraft Forge version, it will, um, bring that piece of paper, file, whatever it is, back up and it clutters up your desktop. So you just want to hide it. I am not going to hide this because we need this. I was just using that as an example. I'm going to uncheck mark that and click cancel. So we installed both Minecraft Forge versions. What does that do? Well, if you go back into your launcher, and you click edit profile. So we have Thomcraft, we will click edit. What is this? What do you want to do is you want to go to use version and you want to find the forge version for that. It is usually at the very, whoops, the very bottom. What's happening? So we have release 1.8.9 forge. It installed. So we're going to click it and then we click save profile. Now let's do the same thing to Tinker's Construct. Edit, version. Now if you notice for Tinker's Construct, 
or Forge 1.10, I have multiple versions. It's because I have a couple different things with 1.10 Forge. So I installed the latest. And what you want to do is this long little list of numbers is the version number. You usually want to skip to the end and look at the last few numbers. So 2151, 71, and then 85. So 85 is the highest, so that is the latest. We will click that and click save. And then you want to just simply run these again. It will take about a minute because uh, it's installing those uh, modded folders needed to run Forge and other Forge forgely things in those folders we made in our minecraft folder so it shouldn't take too long because it's just forge if there's no mods in it yet if i were to click single player and play a world and making play a world as soon as it's loaded up it would just be vanilla minecraft because we have no mods i know this says mods down here which you want to look at this to make sure you have forge um and it will also say powered by Forge, but by four mods loaded and four mods active, that means Forge is running correctly. And you can check that by clicking mods and seeing Forge mod loader and Minecraft Forge and all that stuff. So we're gonna click done and we're gonna click quit. And we are now gonna go do the exact same thing for Thomcraft uh, for Forge 1.8. So it should only take a second and while we're doing that we are done with the installers so we can actually delete those so we next need mantle and tankers construct thumbcraft optifine 1.8 i'll put right next to that and optifine 1.10 i will put next to that for a little more organization because uh organization is amazing so now that this is loaded up you can see three mods loaded and three mods active that is great and gonna shut off that music and it's powered by forage so we're gonna quit the game now to show you what both of that loading up for both versions did we're gonna need to go back to our minecraft folder and click on the folders we made so thomcraft now if you look in config there's all this forge stuff logs FML means forge mod loader. Um, mods, that's a whole new folder it made to add mods. So it added all this forge stuff. So what we want to do now, now that there's a mods folder, and if there's not, you simply would just make, an, and you have all the other forge stuff here, you would simply just make a new folder and name it mods. So this is for Thomcraft. We want to click it, and we need to drag in 1.8 Optifine and Thomcraft. Now normally you would double click Optifine, but in the case of Forge, you just drag it into the mods folder. So let's go put this stuff in for Tinker's Construct as well. And there we go. So let's go test if we have these in our, in our uh, worlds now. Um, it's gonna take a few minutes to load. It does every time you add a new mod because it's adding modded things to the game. So uh, I'm gonna click play and I will see you when it's there. So now it's finally loaded. And as you can see, it says five mods loaded and five mods active. Previously before it was three. And it also says Optifine and Powered by Forage. And now let's go make sure we have Thomcraft installed correctly. So you can either click mods and you can go and you can find Thomcraft. And here it is all the information that is provided and baubles now i think thomcraft just added this in here um that's okay some mods do that but uh let's just go make a world real fast um and let's see if it's there and i will cut for your convenience until the world is loaded okay we are here nice and loaded into the world now Let's get that lovely achievement. And if you hit your inventory, you can see there are now two pages. So you click this lovely arrow that takes you to the second page. There's a new tab. And the tab is for Thomcraft. Now, I don't know what much of this does. I am still learning Thomcraft. I kind of just got into it and I think it's a great mod so far. But uh, let's just click something and place it. So this air crystal. 
Um. I guess, I guess you can't place those on grass. So uh, let's just do this amber bearing stone instead. There we go. That looks like a, a very lovely block. Um, I would like to note that when, because of this folder method and loading Optifine or, and loading Optifine and regular minecraft it will reset all your settings so if you have special keybinds uh to a mouse or to a keyboard or anything like that you will have to rebind those um it's why it's why you saw me do uh some weird zooms a minute ago because uh keybinds are reset but it's really not a big deal it's fun we now are living in a lovely world where thomcraft exists so, uh, let's just quit the game, and let's go do the same for Minecraft 1.10 Forge. I will see you when I am there. Alrighty, we have successfully changed profiles and loaded up Minecraft 1.10 Forge with Optifine and Tinker's Construct. So, let's just click the mods folder, and... Mantle, that was the dependency mod and Tinker's Construct. Now let's go in game and see if we did it. And I will, again, cut for your convenience. Alrighty, we've spawned in the world for 1.10 and we have a new item in our inventory that spawns with us. Um, if you click it, it is Materials and You by Skyla, who I'm guessing had a part in uh, t making Tinker's Construct. If not, they made it. I don't know who made it. But it is uh, roughly a hundred pages. It used to be a lot shorter, but this book is way more comprehensive now. Or at least in the 1.7 version, which is what I mainly use. It is a lot shorter. But this looks a lot better and more friendly. Look at that sword. Look at that arrow. Those are cool. A lot more friendly than the 1.7 version. So, I said about 100, yeah, 104, but still, it's nice to have that. Uh, if we exit out of that book and we get that lovely achievement, we also have another page to, so we can then click uh, the tab over and we have all these tabs that have Tinker's Construct things. So gadgets, items and tools and tool parts and a smeltery in the world which is I'm guessing world gen uh, the smeltery is like the big part of um, Tinker's construct so uh, there we can place some blocks down that is a lovely block that would make a great like evil castle or something I don't know um, I like survival I'm not the best builder um, but yeah uh, just to prove that it also shows it in your F3 screen, if you look in the bottom right hand side of the F3 screen, it says powered by Forge, it has the number, it says how many mods are loaded in and active, and it has Optifine. So, um, that's, that's about it. You are now free to start playing Minecraft Forge with mods. Don't forget to add... Uh, however RAM you think you need and um, you can apply this method to Forge 1.6.4 1.7 1.8 1.9 10 I'm sure it works for 1.11 I think that just came out um, and to end the video how about a, a little look-see at my Christmas skin here um, a little reindeer and uh, Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Please pass this on to anybody who would like to know this information. Subscribe and g g gently push that like button. Don't 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 smash it like like everybody else tells you. I, I need it for later, so gently push it. Have a nice day and see you later. Bye.